folks, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3 on the uh, Mega Man collection for the PS4 on the Mysterious JG. The last time, we had defeated all the Robot Masters except for Needle Man. If we, if we defeat Needle Man, it seems to me like we should get all the parts we need to build a peacekeeping robot. Dr. Light and Dr. Wily have set aside their differences, can build a peacekeeping robot, the world will be safe, and there'll be no need for any more Mega Man games. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, I do know it's time to take on Needle Man. Actually, with six lives in reserve, my plan to farm for E-Tanks becomes more complicated anyway, because I have to die a bunch of times. I think I'm better off just actually beating the thing uh, legit. These guys are kind of a pain in the butt, actually, as I recall. Because they tend to place them to where you can't get off enough shots to kill them. They're invulnerable while they're bouncing around. And they start shooting again right away. So you're really just best off avoiding these guys most of the time. But they start off the stage with some needles. So we kind of know that's where it's going. Mega Man? Is he into needle play? I guess we'll find out. Sensitive nipples, man. <laughs> Here's a man. <laughs> These mets are a little different because they will jump, and they'll actually move around after they uh, shoot. And are more trouble than they're worth. If you sit there, you keep taking damage from them. So once again, the needle theme is uh, coming through loud and clear. Miraculous ability to switch directions in mid-slide uh, becomes important. I did not mean to stop and stand around there. Thought I was going to slide all the way through. You don't... I mean, I make it look easy. It isn't that hard. But honestly, you don't have a lot of time to spare out that. Um, you kind of need to get going. Magnet man, your weapon is horrible. You would think it would be really handy, this weapon that you don't have to like aim. But it always sucks. And now I'm gonna freaking die trying to get this E tank. I'm not even kidding. Get the damn E tank. Now get out. Well, at least I know there is an E tank here for farming purposes if I really decide I want to do that. I'm pretty sure I can clear this stage without needing anything. Oh, this is it. Stage is a lot shorter than I remember. Again, there's something coming that I hate to spoil. We might be seeing some of these stage stylings again. <sighs> Do I have enough lives in reserve that I feel like trying that legit with uh, more than the one hit that I can take? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's try to beat it with a pea shooter. This is the kind of guy I remember, like, you know, after playing through and beating the game several times over the years, you would try to come back and beat Needle Man first, because he's obviously not the one that you'd want to beat first. Gemini laser beats him in just a couple of shots. And if I get in trouble, I'll showcase that, because I put in enough time now that I don't feel like losing a close battle. Like, I, I could clearly come back and do better against him uh, with a little practice. Alright. You forced my hand. Although, honestly, I feel like I might have been able to pull that out if I hadn't... It was like, wow, JG, you almost did something kind of cool, and then at the last minute you decided to be a bitch. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, well. That's what you get, folks. I challenge myself until it becomes a challenge, and then I immediately cease the challenge. So there you go, folks. We've won the game. Now we can have world peace, thanks to the peacekeeping. What? What the hell is this? We've got the same weird dark face in four corners, and these four stages have blacked out. Can no longer be entered. But they still say Needleman, Sparkman, Gemini Man, and Shadow Man. Hmm. Not sure what's happening. I think, like, thanks to Nintendo Power and, and, and you know, various things, like, they talk about story elements that as I play the game, I realize the story, like, the game makes no effort whatsoever to let you know what the fuck's going on in the story. Anyway, <laughs> now I feel a little guilty that I, I came that close to beating Needleman legit and then just decided at the last minute to be a punk about it. But, uh, no, that's the kind of thing where, you know, when, you, when you've already beaten the game twice, uh, three times, maybe, and you're playing it, you're, you're, you're bringing that fourth or fifth play out of Mega Man 3, that's when you go in and start doing stuff like, well, be, like, I'm sure I've beaten Needleman without uh, his weakness before and had gotten the Rush Jet first. I had forgotten he's the one you get the Rush Jet from, but that's a pretty obvious reason it would be fun to beat him first. Um... I'm almost positive that I've beaten Snake Man and Spark Man without their weaknesses. Magnet Man we beat without his weakness in this Let's Play. Um, I'm sure I've beaten Hard Man without his weakness. I believe, I, and Top Man I know I've beaten. I believe I've beaten Shadow Man without his weakness, although for the life of me I can't remember. Like, I, at one point I knew his pattern a lot better and was able to, like, avoid his, uh, kind of avoid his slides and, and kind of control his pattern. Gemini Man... I think I may have never beaten him legit uh, using the Mega Man weapon, and I'm okay with it. Anyway, folks, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, when we come back, um, well, I'm not sure what's going on. We don't have, like, Dr. Wily waggling his eyebrows and taking off in a spaceship. That's nice. At least Dr. Wily hasn't betrayed us. I don't know if I can handle that happening again. Instead, there's some mysterious, kind of ominous... I guess that's a face... Um, that has taken over half of these planets because these were planets we were visiting uh, to get crystals needed to power the peacekeeping robot. That's what the manual told us. So, yeah, we will... And I'm just going to tell you, they were referred to in uh, Nintendo Power as dock robots. And don't let your mind run away from you. We have Dr. Light and Dr. Wily. There's two different doctors, so we don't know where the doc robot comes from or if it really refers to any specific doctor but yeah we've got now coming up the doc robot stages and i've hinted at before without wanting to particularly spoil it spark man gemini man shadow man and in particular needle man had stages with a little bit little interesting elements spark man had um had some stuff going on with like trash shoots and whatever Shadow Man had the mechanics with uh, the thing that makes the lights go out. Gemini Man had a lot of stuff going on with um, eggs blocking the path. And you had to figure out strategically how to shoot them to give you the ability to get to power-ups. And Needle Man had, um, like, those needles coming out of the ceiling and stuff. Like, there's a lot of mechanics that we barely got to see at work at his stage. And it's because those stages had unique mechanics that are going to come back to haunt us because we have longer, tougher versions of the stages that we're going to face next time. Not all four next time. We'll probably continue our pattern of doing one stage per video. But it's time to end this video. Um, There's no point stretching it out. This was not a full video's worth of content. Uh, Needleman stage. I'd forgotten how very, very short it is. But next time, folks, we're moving on to the dock robots. And after we've defeated them, maybe after we've encountered the first one of them, will we find out who they are, what they're about, what's going on? Perhaps. Perhaps. But you never really thought it was over when we beat the 8th Robot Master, did you? See you next time, folks.